Hey guys, thanks for watching. Please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and all our social media platforms at Fino Boxing. You can follow my personal social media at Adriana. So, Misa, how do you feel about obviously getting all this love from East LA, you know, fighting, fighting, being here at the Bank of California? Just overall, how do you put it in perspective of being fighting here at downtown LA? It's great. I'm so excited. I'm so happy to be fighting at home. It feels like it's been like years since I fought at home. So it's great to see the fans come out and support, the fans be excited about it and be you just excited and anxious to watch live boxing again. Now you're taking on the Japanese word, you know, Tsunami, obviously long reigning champion. You know, what, are you, what type of fight are you expecting on fight night? I'm expecting a tough fight, you know. Um, she comes to fight, uh, Japanese fighters like herself, fight with so much pride and so much courage. So I know she's uh, she's she's coming to win. You know she's not. It's the first time in the U.S. though. So um, I know I just have to go in there from the first round and just make her uncomfortable and show her something that she hasn't seen before in the ring. Now, obviously, you know you're aiming to become a three division world champion. She's never been stopped. Are you trying to? Is that the goal for you? Not only to to you know get that crown, but to actually stop her. Yeah, definitely. That is that is a, a goal. You know that's something that I work hard in the gym every fight. Not not going in there expecting the stoppage, but you know that's I train hard. And, and I think that, that would definitely make a statement. She's been defeated by a lot of Mexican champions, um, but like you said, has never been stopped. So for me to go in there and stop her would definitely be a huge statement. What would it be for you to become a three-division world champion? And obviously, you know, now, arguably being in the pound for pound list. Oh, it would be in everything to me because I remember going into a meeting with Robert Diaz when I first signed with Golden Boy and I told him my goals are to be a three division world champion and to unify at 105, 108 and 112 pounds and Robert even told me himself, he's like honestly when you first told me that I thought you were crazy. He's like but now that you're actually doing it and you know the way you just you make it look, you make it look like if it's exactly what's supposed, what, how it's supposed to be and I said I told, I, was, I, told, I said Robert I told you those are my dreams and my goals for a reason. Of course, there's people who think you're crazy, but I'm not crazy. <laughs> I, this fight is two minute rounds, correct? But you wanted it three? Oh, yeah. Actually, yes. Good thing you said that. So this fight is two minute rounds. Um, I want every fight to be three minutes. You know, um, some states don't allow it, and then some organizations don't, don't allow it. California State Athletic Commission um, agreed for us to th do three minutes, and then the WBO organization agreed for us to th do three minutes, but Tenkai Tsunami did not want to do three minutes. And then we even offered to pay her an extra amount, and then I said, I'll give you an extra amount out of my own purse if you do three minute rounds, and she still said no. So that's the struggle of, you know, there's, we want that rule to be changed officially, but it's going to be hard if the fighters themselves don't want to do it. So, you, you seem yeah. to be kind of one of the, the trailblazers in that, I feel, because I hear other girls kind of saying, well, if they pay me more, I mean, obviously you're willing to pay more and some, some girls still don't want to do You seem to be kind of a trailblazer of that, you know, three minute rounds, like just the same as the boys, right? Yeah, exactly. I mean, if we want to get paid the same and be treated the same, like, why can't we do, why, we, should, we should be doing three minute rounds. And uh, you know, I know the WBC says they have this thing about like it being dangerous to do three minute rounds, which makes no sense. I don't know, it just needs to change. Women's boxing is changing, women's sports is changing. There's no reason why we can't do an extra minute each round. With, with you becoming a champion, do you feel like, <laughs> like now kind of challengers might have to do that for you? It's like you're the champion, you're the one that yeah, I mean, like I said, I, I try, I try, we try to offer, I mean, we try to get the opponents to agree to, agree to do three-minute rounds, whether it's the organization or the opponent, um, but it just all depends on the opponent if they want to do it or not, so. What do you think about the, uh, uh, the, the rest of the card, Joe Joe versus the two minutes, that's a great fight, I'm just aware of as well. Yeah, it's going to be great, it's going to be a good card, action-packed card, and starting from 12 p.m. in the afternoon, you know, <laughs> so it's an all-day action-packed card, um, but the JoJo for Tuna fight is going to be great. I'm Team JoJo, you know, known him since we were kids, was my sparring partner when we were kids, so it's cool to see all his success and accomplishments. So, yeah, so what do you think about Shakari Richardson? She tested positive for TAC and now they're not letting her compete in the Olympics. What do you think about Richardson? I mean, she knew that you, uh, she knew, I mean, you, you can't smoke weed, you know you're going to get tested, so at the same time, it's on her, but also, I mean, it's just a little marijuana, it's not crack or heroin or anything like that, you know? <laughs> She's still fast, no matter what. <laughs> it's, it's not steroids either. It's not steroids. The rules, the rules are a little, you know, maybe tough for the competitors in terms of, of 
I guess uh, marijuana, like you said, it's just marijuana is legal in so many states now. Yeah, I mean, I think that's something that has to change because so many athletes, even like myself, like I use CBD, it's not, of course, no CHT, but for recovery and things like that, and there's a lot of athletes who also use it, like to smoke it for, um, and nobody really understands the, the pain and, and things that we go through with our bodies during training camp and, and, and getting ready to compete. So that's been the only thing sometimes that helps athletes. So at the same time, I think maybe that, that needs to really change. Any message or advice for Shakari Richardson? I know that um, it's different sports, but you know, she's, she's in the forefront of her sport just like you are for women in boxing. Man, I know it's. A, I can't imagine how it must feel to, you know, not be able to live out your dreams and and all of a sudden just like that. But just keep working hard and 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 keep doing your thing. You know, she'll she'll get there. Everybody, everybody's there to support her, and she has a lot of support. So it's awesome. Did you beat up uh, JoJo uh, back in the day as kids and, and sparring? <laughs> I won't say anything like that. No, JoJo was uh, JoJo was my toughest. My toughest sparring partner. I sparred so many boys when I was a kid, but jo JoJo is definitely the toughest for sure. Yeah. Uh, I got to take on a couple fights. Mayweather, sorry, uh, Pacquiao versus uh, Spence. Big fight coming up. What do you think about that one? Man, I'm excited to see that. And like, like he could he could have chose any opponent, but he chose Spence. Like, that's kind of scary. That kind of like makes me think like, what does Pacquiao know about himself that we don't know? And like every time you like even doubt him, he just shows that like he's still. He's still great. He's Manny Pacquiao. So. Uh, Fury Wilder three is coming up. What do you think about that one? Tyson Fury. I'm a huge Tyson Fury fan. He's like one of my current favorite fighters. So, I got Fury. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my last one. Uh, Canelo seems to looks like he's going to be fighting Plant soon. What, what do you think about that? And do you see Canelo as the best pound for pound fighter in the world right now? I do. I feel like Canelo's unstoppable. I don't see anybody beating him right now. I mean, I see some good opponents out there that would give him a, a, a tough fight, but. He's just on another level right now. Yeah. That's a good one. That's a great one, actually. That I think right. I think that Benavides will be uh, Canelo's toughest opponent in test for sure. Yeah. Do you think we're going to see Surdo now? Obviously, being with Golden Boy, do you think we could get that matchup between Surdo and Canelo down to point at 175? For sure, I think so. I think that's the goal. I'm sure it is for for, for Golden Boy to to get that matchup and. Um, I I think it's great that the fans in, in the U.S. are able to see Zuro now and hopefully build a following for him here. Now, now, now that he's part of Golden Boy, you know, have you gotten to, you know, to know Surdo? And what do you yeah. think of him as a fighter overall? Oh, I, th I think he's a good fighter. He's a very exciting fighter. Um, he's a very sweet guy in general. Very sweet, polite, nice guy. So that's what I love about him. I also want to get your thoughts. You know, Anderson Silva just beat uh, Julio Chavez. They always wanted to have Roy Jones face, you know, Anderson Silva. As a fan of Roy Jones and as a friend, is that a matchup you want to see? Sure, why not? <laughs> I think that'll be a great matchup. I mean, both guys, they're not gonna they're not gonna kill each other, you know, so I think it's gonna be it'll be a good fight for entertainment and for the fans. Yeah. Listening to you having Roy Jones, you know, he's one of those guys that back in the day, four or five years ago, he was like, Hey, Sinisa Stratus is the one. You yeah. know, what is yeah, what is what does it mean to have his support? Oh, it means everything. I remember when he first watched me fight and like said all these great things about me. Um, it was it was amazing because he was my favorite fighter growing up and then now it's crazy to be my favorite fighter's favorite fighter, so it's it's crazy, it's insane. He, he always wanted to see you face uh, Ronda Rousey. I mean, obviously, you think that that fight slipped away, or if, you know, Sheva you know makes makes a comeback, you'd be like, hey, yeah, you against Ronda. He was always like, <laughs> I mean, maybe if yeah, maybe if we were the same weight, <laughs> there's like a 200 pound difference or something like that. <laughs> I'm like 80 pounds. <laughs> I see. What do you want to tell the fight fans? Get the tickets to Ticketmaster and obviously come out and support. Yeah, you can get your tickets at Ticketmaster.com and or come out and support Bank of California. Thank you guys so much for all the support. I got I got fans on my channel asking when you're gonna pay your bet. Give me back shakies. Are you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I owe you shakies. <laughs> yeah, you owe me shakies. Oh shit. <laughs>